Okay, okay, before you say anything, I know I'm late to this update, but we've got the new biggest car dealership tycoon update of 2023 at least. I think this might even be one of the biggest updates we've had even beyond this year. We have nine new cars to take a look at today, and I'm already liking what I'm seeing. There's a very good range of different vehicles to take a look at. Some supercars, some classics, and some just classy vehicles. So with all of that being said, I know I'm late, but let's jump in anyways. I think some of these uh, buildings also got redone or something as well. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but we'll have to check. Okay, classic car bundle. We get all three of these cars for 333 robux it doesn't seem too bad but okay here we go this is the redone um tycoon area here so let me click on some stuff and let me see what's going on here i actually really don't know um but let's take a look we can change our colors i think the whole ui has been remade as well which is kind of neat um we can change the name as well and let's go take a look at the hypercar dealership i just want to see all of the different things that have been done because Honestly, I haven't played this game in a little while and uh, I, I need a little refresher I think my favorite thing so far is actually this income. It tells us how much income we're earning We have hundred percent completion I think if we wanted to adjust some of our vehicles We could actually make more money and we can actually see how much it is too, which is really cool But yeah, that is essentially I don't know what this question mark is Can you guys let me know because I'm clicking it and nothing is nothing is changing nothing is happening So let me know what that is, but let's take a look at all nine new vehicles which is actually ridiculously insane dodge charger this is of course dom's charger beautiful 1972 definitely the golden age of classic cars man this thing looks awesome and they even went as far as to do a bit of the interior a lot of different gauges wood steering wheel as well dude this has got to be one of the coolest cars here i think so far anyways the carbureted intake with the supercharger yo this is so sick Okay, here we go. It sounds amazing, too. Oh, it pops a little. Okay, that's really nice. Yeah, that's so nice. Okay, this is very good. One of my favorite new cars in the game, for sure. I actually really like this model, too. I think the proportions are, are actually really good. Even the rear end looks good. This is super nice, man. I, I feel like we need to make a petition for more classic cars in all of these games, especially like Driving Empire and stuff like that. Let's make a petition. I want more classic cars. Um, we've got the original Bugatti as well. Okay, I guess I don't have a choice. I'm spending the Robux today, boys. I gotta get the classic car. I have to see what this is all about. So let's see here. Let's check this out. Spawned 30 million. Did you see that? 30 million. Whoa, hold on a second. Wow, is this more expensive than my uh, Centenario? Let me see. It is. Yo, this is insane. Wow, that's expensive. $30 million for this thing. And it looks very interesting. It sounds very um, old, I guess is the best way to put it. It sounds very old. Look at the five exhaust pipes on the left side. <laughs> that's so weird looking. It actually sounds pretty good at high speed though. It's like a nice, quiet humming sound. I actually kind of like it, man. This is pretty cool. It handles really strangely because it's such a weird shape. Oh, wow. Look at this house here. What is this? When did they add these beautiful houses? What the heck? Okay. Definitely a cool car, though. Let's take a look at the interior. Okay, of course, very basic. I think this was, what, from, like, the 30s or something? It says Arctic 75, but I'm pretty sure this is from, like, the 1930s or something, man. This is, this is old, dude. <laughs> really old. Okay, we also got the Volkswagen Bug as well. Um, it doesn't really, we don't really need to show this one off too, too much. But yeah, let's take a look at the inside. Okay, very classic, very retro. I like the colors, it's super, super bright. Really bright. Actually sounds really similar to that Bugatti we were just driving. Huh. <laughs> Ooh, this Cadillac Eldorado. Okay, hold on. This is cool. This is, when I see these in, in real life, man, I'm telling you, these are the craziest looking cars. They are massive in real life. Absolutely massive. And I feel like the back seat, they literally just put a couch. They just threw a couch in the back and were like, yep, there you go. You don't need seat belts. You're good. This thing is actually really cool. I'm digging this update. I think this is one of the best updates of the year for sure. What do you guys think? Give me your thoughts down below. Pick your favorite car and leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite car is from this update. This Eldorado is so cool. I mean, first person looks kind of off, but other than that, I feel like such 
a freaking baller in this car right now. It is so huge, man. Holy crud. And it looks like a spaceship. It's crazy because I feel like this looks more futuristic than the cars we have nowadays. This looks more from the future. It's so weird how things have changed. And of course, next up, we've got the 1970, I think 70, maybe 71, uh, Chevrolet Chevelle as well. This is actually a dream car of a really good friend of mine, so it's kind of crazy that they're adding in all of these awesome classics, man. I'm a big fan of classics. You guys know I have actually driven a 72 Camaro, and I, I vlogged it as well. You guys can go watch that vlog. I'll leave a link to it. But uh, yeah, man. These are awesome, awesome cars. I love the classics, dude. I wish I could have like a classic Mustang. This is super nice. Okay, I've been waiting to drive this. You guys know this car. I'm sure a lot of you remember it from the classic Cars movie. That's what I think really popularized it for the modern generation. This is such an awesome, awesome car. And I can't believe they added it to the game. Look at this interior as well. Only the real ones that are watching this video remember the king from the Cars movies. Let me know in the comments if you guys recognize this car or if it's just like completely random to you. <laughs> but yeah, this is super sick. And of course, we've got the classic Mercedes SL first generation. This thing is super, super cool as well. I really like this. Actually, if you guys remember Drive City, we used this car as one of the starter car options. I think it's an awesome, awesome vehicle and highly, highly underrated. So I'm glad we got some European classics in this update as well, not just all the American classics. We gotta give some love across the sea as well. So that is awesome, man. I'm really loving this. Red interior, completely red, that's insane. And I like the red hubcaps as well. What a beautiful, beautiful ride. We're talking about these Lamborghinis, which are super, super nice in their own right, but kind of weird to add this in an update focused on classic cars, but still, I'm digging it. I think it looks super, super cool. The rear end of this Lamborghini looks unbelievably nice. Same with the front. I mean, this model is just really, really nice. Oh my God, it's so much faster than everything we've been driving today. Look at this thing, dude. I actually like the paint. Yeah, I really gotta know, what do you guys think is your favorite car from this update? I gotta say for me, it's the 72 Charger. I mean, it is super, super cool. I, but again, there's a lot of cool cars, so I don't know. Let me know what yours is. wonder if I'm missing anything. Let's take one last peek. I think we've got it all, um, unless there's some like really expensive car. Oh, uh, yeah, this new Pagani is limited as well. 18 mil to get this. Oh, my God. Okay, I don't have enough for that right now. But I think that will basically wrap things up here, guys. I'm liking this update. Again, apologies for being late, but this is still a really, really cool game update. I'm glad to see more classics getting loved in this game as well. I'll wrap things up here though. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. If you guys want more, just let me know. Thanks for watching this car dealership tycoon, and I'll see you guys next time.